Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Monday, March 13th, 2023. Big show today, college basketball, NBA, NHL, spring training, world baseball classics, soccer, golf, NASCAR, news and notes, and best bet. We'll start with college basketball. We'll go over everything from the weekend, rapid fire style, not a lot of time today. And we do not have anything tonight as far as I'm concerned. We'll go over the bracket in a completely separate show um, either tonight or tomorrow. So, um, Friday, um, I'm trying to uh, get these um, scores to come up here. Here we go. Um, Houston over East Carolina, 60-46. UCLA over Oregon, 75-56. Kansas over Iowa State, 758. Bama over Mississippi State, 72-49. Purdue over Rutgers, 70-65. Marquette over UConn, 70-68. Texas over TCU, 66-60. Um, Arizona over Arizona State, 78-59. Virginia over Clemson, 76-56. Duke over Miami, 85-78. Xavier over Creighton, 86-62. Missouri over Tennessee, 79-71. A&M over Arkansas, 67-61. Indiana over Maryland, 70-60. San Diego State over San Jose, 64-49. Vandy over Kentucky, 80-73. Um, and I know there's more. I'll get to them. Those were the, the ranked matchups from uh, that night. Um... With all the SEC, Big 12, Mountain West, quarter, semifinals, etc. Um, FA over Middle Tennessee, 68-65. Ohio State upsets Michigan State, 68-58. Texas Southern beats Alabama M 74-61. Cincinnati beats Temple, 84-54. UAB beats North Texas, 76-69. Toledo beats Ohio, 82-75. Howard beats Maryland Eastern Shore, 74-55. Iona beats Niagara, 71-59. Penn State beats Northwestern, 67-65 in overtime. Memphis beats UCF, 81-76. Kent State beats Akron, 79-73. Maris beats St. Peter's 69-57. Norfolk beats NC Central 72-65. Greg Candy beats Sam Houston 78-75. Florida beats Irvine 83-80. Grambling beats Jackson State 78-69. Flame beats Wichita State 82-76. Southern Utah beats Utah Valley 89-88. UC Santa Barbara beats UC Riverside 92-87. Utah State beats Boise 72-62. And Saturday. Um, the funny thing about the Saturday games... Um, they put it in order of the ranked teams. Um, where I'm looking at the scores right now. Um, Houston beats Cincinnati, 68-48. Arizona beats UCLA, 61-59. That was a great Pac-12 title game. Texas beats Kansas, 76-56. Big 12 title game. Alabama beats Missouri, 72-61. Purdue beats Ohio State, 80-66. Big East final, Marquette beats Xavier, 65-51. ACC final, Duke beats Virginia, 59-49. A&M beats Vandy, 87-75. Penn State beats Indiana, 77-73. Mountain West Final, San Diego State beats Utah State, 62-57. AEC Final, Vermont beats Utah State, 72-59. Yale beats Cornell, 80-60. MIAC Final, Howard beats Norfolk State, 65-64. VCU beats St. Louis, 90-78. Um, Princeton beats Penn, 77-70. Dayton beats Fordham, 78-68. Texas Southern beats Grambling, 61-58 in the SWAC Final. Memphis beats Lee, 94-54. Mac final, Kent State beats Toledo, 93-78. Mac final, Iona beats Mara, 76-55. CUSA final, FAU beats UAB, 78-56. Big West final, UC Santa Barbara beats Cal, beats Cal State Fullerton, 72-62. WAC final, Grand Canyon beats Southern Utah, 84-66. And then Sunday, um, AAC final, Memphis beats Houston, 75-65. SEC final, Alabama beats a m 82-63. Big 10 final, Purdue beats Penn State, 67-65. Ivy League final, Princeton beats Yale, 74-65. And A-10 final, VC beats State in 68-56. So, no games today. Tomorrow we have um, first four and the NIT to get into. All right, now move on to the NBA. Um, we'll go over the results from the weekend and look ahead to tonight's games in the association. 
Friday, Sixers beat the Blazers 120-119. Hawks over to Wizards 114-107. Heat over to Cavs 119-115. Nets over to T-Wolves 124-123 in overtime. Spurs over to Nuggets 128-120. Lakers over to Raptors 122-112. Saturday, Clippers over to Knicks, 106-95. Jazz over to Hornets, 119-111. Pacers over to Pistons, 121-115. Magic over to Heat, 126-114 in overtime. Celtics over to Hawks, 134-125. Bulls over to Rockets, 119-111. Grizz over to Mavs, 112-108. Thunder over to Pelicans, 196. Warriors over to Bucks, 125-126 in overtime. And the Kings over to Suns, 128-119. Sunday, Nets over to Nuggets, 122-120. Cavs over to Hornets, 114-108. Sixers over to Wizards, 112-93. Pelicans over to Blazers, 137-110. Thunder over to Spurs, 102-90. And the Knicks over to Lakers, 112-108. All right, seven games tonight. 7 o'clock, you have the Pacers and the Pistons. I didn't do totals. I just did mine, so I'm sorry. I have um, Pacers by a half. And it is 3.5 totals, 226. I'm going to take the Pistons getting the 3.5. 730, Timberwolves to Hawks. I have Hawks 7.5, and, and it is... Um, five and a half. I'm going to lay the points. Um, Jazz Heat. I project Heat seven and three quarters. And it's eight and a half total to 26. Um, I'm going to take the under. Um, ESPN Grizz Mavs. My line is Grizzlies by eight. And it's only one and a half. I understand there's a lot of, um, there's like Luca and... Kyrie are apparently not even playing. If Kyrie was there, though, then that goes, then that's correct. But I heard that Irving is not playing tonight. So, um, if Irving doesn't play, lay with Memphis. If not, we'll take the over. Um, eight o'clock Celtics Rockets. My line is the Celtics by twelve and three quarters, and it is twelve and a half totals to thirty one half. We'll take the under. ESPN Suns Warriors, I project um, Golden State 5 and 3 quarters, and it's 4.5 totals to 36. I'll take the under. And last but not least, Bucks Kings. My line is the Bucks by 3 quarters, and it is 2 totals to 44 and a half. That's way too high of a total. I'm taking the under. All right, now we'll move on to the NHL. We'll go over everything from the weekend, and we'll look ahead to the games tonight. Friday, Panthers over to Blackhawks 4-3 OT. Ducks over to Flames 3-1. Saturday, Bruins over to Red Wings 3-2. Pens over to Flyers 5-1. Avs over to Caddies 3-2 OT. Golden Knights over to Hurricanes 4-0. Rangers over to Sabres 2-1 OT. Blues over to Blue Jackets 5-2. Jets over to Panthers 5-4 OT. Devils over to Canadians 3-1. Lightning over to Blackhawks 3-1. Leafs over to Oilers 7-4. Caps over to Islanders 5-1. Stars over to Kraken 4-3 OT. Canucks over to Suns 5-2. Preds over to Kings 2-1 shootout. Wild over to Sharks 5-2. And then yesterday's results, Red Wings over to Bruins, 5-3. Devils over to Canes, 3-0. Pens over to Rangers, 3-2 OT. Golden Knights over to Blues, 5-3. Jets over to Lightning, 3-2. Flames over to Suns, 5-1. Preds over to Ducks, 5-4 OT. Coyotes over to Wild, 5-4 OT. Three games, 7-30. Abs, Canadians, that is just a mismatch. Um, Abs are minus 260. Montreal plus 210. Over under 6.5. Over is minus 102. And there's minus 120. Abs minus 1.5 is minus 8. Canadians plus 1.5 is minus 111. I'm going with the over. Sabres, Leafs, um, Leafs minus 245, Sabres plus 98, over under 6 and a half, overs minus 164, unders plus 134, Sabres plus 1 and a half is minus 113, Leafs minus 1 and a half is minus 106, we're going Sabres, puck line plus 1 and a half is minus 113, last but not least, 10 o'clock, Stars, Kraken, um, Stars minus 125, Kraken plus 104, over under 6 and a half, overs plus 102, unders minus 124, Stars minus 1 and a half is plus 184, Kraken plus 1 and a half is minus 225, I'm going to go with the Seattle Kraken at home, plus 104. Now we'll go over the spring training games from the weekend and look ahead to today's games. Yanks over to Tigers, 4-3. Braves over to Rays, 3-2. Blue Jays over to Red Sox, 2-0. Phils over to Pirates, 10-4. Mets over to Strohs, 7-2. Dodgers over to Angels, 6-5. White Sox over to Cubs, 4-3. Royals over to Padres, 1-0. A's over to Rangers, 12-11. Mariners over to Reds, 11-3. Brewers over to Guardians, 12-3. Rockies over to Giants, 8-1. Marlins over to Nats, 7-2. Twins, Orioles, 5-5 tied. Cards over to Mets, 7-5. Reds over to D-backs, 6-5. Saturday, Pirates over to Yanks, 3-0. Phils over to Yanks, 6-3. Twins over to Red Sox, 4-3. Tigers over to Braves, 16-7. Astros over to Cards, 3-2. Jays over to O's, 8-6. 
Cubs over the Dodgers, 5-2. Rangers over the Reds, 8-7. Dodgers over the Giants, 13-8. Guardians over the A's, 4-2. Marlins over the Rays, 5-3. Angels over the D-backs, 11-10. Royals over the Brewers, 12-2. Mariners over the Rockies, 4-2. Padres over the White Sox, 6-5. Nats over the Mets, 10-7. Sunday. Yankees, Sox, 3-3 tie. Braves over the Pirates, 11-3. Orioles over the Red Sox, 6-4. Astros over the Marlins, 5-1. Cards over the Nats, 5-1. Tigers over the Twins, 8-7. Blue Jays over the Phils, 8-3. Rays over the Mets, 10-4. A's, or Angels over the White Sox, or I'm sorry, Angels, White Sox, 1-1 tie. Royals over the Guardians, 7-6. Dodgers over the Reds, 8-1. Brewers over the Cubs, 5-3. Giants over the A's, 4-3. A's over the Padres, 8-6. D-backs over the Rockies, 10-9. Mariners over the Rangers, 11-10. Today's games, 1 o'clock, Yankees, Twins, Orioles, Braves, Tigers, Orioles, Tigers, Rays, A's, I'm sorry, Astros, Nationals, Red Sox, Blue Jays, Mets, Marlins, 4 o'clock, D-backs, Rangers, Guardians, Dodgers, Brewers, Reds, A's, Rockies, Mariners, Angels, and Giants, Padres. All right, now we'll move on to soccer, or I'm sorry, um, WBC. Um, we'll go over the results from the weekend and this morning like I had to tonight. Um all right, so Friday night, Australia over China, 12-2 and 7. Panama over Italy, 2-0. Saturday, Japan over Czech Republic, 10-2. Chinese Tepe over Netherlands, 9-5. Puerto Rico over Nicaragua, 9-1. Colombia over New Mexico or Mexico, 5-4-10. Venezuela over Dominican Republic, 5-1. U.S. over Great Britain, 6-2. Korea over Czech Republic, 7-3. Cuba over Chinese Tepe, 7-1. Yesterday, Japan over Australia, 7-1. Italy over Netherlands, 7-1. Israel over Nicaragua, 3-1. Canada over Great Britain, 18-8-7. Venezuela over Puerto Rico, 9-6. Mexico over U.S., 11-5. Australia over Czech Republic, 8-3. And then this morning, Korea over China, 22-2 in five. Wow. Um, Four games today in... The WBC um, that we have to get to. Um, the only one with uh, odds up are uh, uh, Dominican Republic and uh, Nicaragua. Uh, the run line is nine and a half. Dominican Republic minus nine and a half, minus 105. Nicaragua is plus 195. Over under is 11 and a half. I'll take the over. And then you have 3 o'clock, Colombia, Great Britain. I can say Colombia wins that one. 7 o'clock, Israel, Puerto Rico. We'll say Puerto Rico. And at 10 o'clock, Fox Sports, Canada, Canada, U.S. U.S. has got to win that game. All right, now we'll do soccer. We'll go over the results from yesterday and look ahead to see what's going on today. All right, Spanish La Liga, Cadiz, Getafe, 2-2 draw on Friday. Saturday, Real Madrid over Espanol, 3-1. Elke and Valladolid, 1-1 draw. Celta Vigo over Rayo, 3-0. And Valencia over Asusuna, 1-0. Sunday, Mallorca, Real Sociedad, 1-1 draw. Sevilla over Almeria, 2-1. Villarreal and Batiste, 1-1 draw. And Barcelona over Athletic, 1-0. 4 o'clock, Girona and Atletico. Um... Um... So, I'm just trying to find this. Um, so, Atletico is even money. Jerome is plus 280. Draws plus 230. I don't think Atletico at even money. Italian Serie A from the weekend. Spezzi over Inter Milan 2-1 on Friday. Saturday, Udinese over Empoli 1-0. Napoli over Adelana 2-0. Bologna, Lazio 0-0 draw. Sunday, Torino over Lecce 2-0. Fiorentina over Cremonese 2-0. Verona, Monza 1-1 draw. Sosulo over AS Roma 4-3. Juventus over Sampdoria 4-2. And then, today, 3:45 Milan and... So, Neratana. 
Um, Milan's minus 420. Salernitana is uh, 10 to 1, draws plus 480. I'm going to go with under 2.5 goals of plus 114. All right. From the weekend, EPL, um, Bournemouth over Liverpool, 1-0. Everton over Brentford, 1-0. Leeds, Brighton, 2-2, draw. Chelsea over Leicester, 3-1. Tottenham over Nottingham Forest, 3-1. Man City over Crystal Palace, 1-0. And then yesterday, Arsenal over Fulham, 3-0. Man United, Southampton, 0-0, draw. Austin Villa, West Ham, 0-0, draw. Newcastle over Wolves, 2-1. Um, Major League Soccer from the weekend. Um, Saturday, Atlanta over Charlotte, 3-0. Vancouver, Dallas, 1-1 draw. DC United, Orlando, 1-1 draw. Cincinnati over Seattle, 1-0. NYCFC over Miami, 1-0. Philly over Chicago, 1-0. Toronto, Columbus, 1-1 draw. Minnesota, Red Bulls, 1-1 draw. Nashville over CF Montreal, 2-0. Kansas City, LA Galaxy, 0-0 draw. Austin over Salt Lake, 2-1. St. Louis over Portland, 2-1. San Jose over Colorado, 1-0. And then Sunday, LAFC over New England, 4-0. Mexican Liga from the weekend, Friday. Athletic San Luis over Cuerotaro, 4-0. Puebla over Guadalajara, 1-0. Saturday, Leon over Atlas, 1-0. Cruz Azul over UNAB, 1-0. America over Tigres, 2-0. And then yesterday, Toluca over Mazatlan, 4-1. Monteiro over Pachuca, 2-1. Santos over Tijuana, 3-2. And Juarez and Acaxa, 1-1 draw. Um, German Bundesliga, Friday, Bochum over Cologne, 2-0. Saturday, Bayern over Augsburg, 5-3. Frankfurt, Stuttgart, 1-1 draw. Hearth, Mainz, 1-1 draw. RP Leipzig over Gladbach, 3-0. And Dortmund, Schalke, 2-2 draw. Sunday, Freiburg over Hoffenheim, 2-1. Leverkusen over Bremen, 3-2. And Wolfsburg, Union, Berlin, 1-1 draw. French League. Friday, Lille Lyon, 3-3 draw. Saturday, Auxerre Rennes, 0-0 draw. PSG over Brest, 3-2. Sunday, Lens over Claremont Foot, 4-0. Montpellier over AC Ajaccio, 1-0. Toulouse over Angers, 2-0. Lorient over Troyes, 2-0. Nantes, Nice, 2-2 draw. Reims over Monaco, 1-0. Marcel over Strasbourg, or I should say Marcel and Strasbourg, 2-2 draw. Um, and that's it for, uh, for soccer. All right, now I'm going to go over the, um, golf from, uh, the weekend. Um, it was the Players' Championship. Um, your winner with the score of 17 under, Scotty Scheffler, coming in second with 12 under, Tyrell Hatton, tie for third with 10 under, Victor Hovland and Tom Hogue. Fifth with nine under Hideki Matsuyama, tied for sixth with eight under. Um, Justin Rose, Sun Im, Cam Davis, Dylan Lingworth, Min Woo Lee, Max Homa, Justin Sue. Tied for 13th with seven under. Um, Dylan McCarthy, Christian Zinahel, Colin Morikawa, Ricky Fowler, Adam Hadwin, and Adam Svetson. Tied for 19th with six under. Brandon Wu, Patrick Kelly, Tony Finau, that was my pick. Um, Ryan Henley, Jason Day, Xander Shoffley, Jordan Spieth, Aaron Ray. Tied for 27th with five under Danny Willett, Tommy Fleetwood, Tyu Kim, Chad Rumi, Brendan Todd, Eric Cole, Wyndham Clark, and Ryan Fox. Tied for 35th with four under Austin Smotherman, Keith Mitchell, Mark Hubbard, Ben Ganon, Ben Griffin, Shane Lowry, Sam Burns, Taylor Moore, Dylan Wu, Til- and... Um, that's it. Tied for 44s with three under um, Brian Harmon, Jason Hadley, Taylor Montgomery, Kramer Hecox, Stefan Yeager, Grayson Higo, Sam Ryder. Tied for 51st with two under Cam Young, Lucas Glover, and Tom Kim. Tied for 54th with one under um, Tyler Duncan, Ben Martin, Will Gordon, Matthias Schwab, Gary Woodland, and Jerry Kelly. Tied for 60th at even Joel Dummett, Nate Lashley, Maverick McDealy, Francesco Lenari, and Justin Thomas. Tied for 65th at one over. Seb Straka, Patton Kazir, and Alex Molly. 68th with three over. Davis Thompson tied for the 69th with four over. Scott Sully, Taylor Pendrith. 74th, five over. Adam Scott. 72nd, seven over. Alex Baddeley. 73rd, eight over. Will Zalatoris. 74th, 10 over. Sidney Figlia. 75th, 11 over. Kevin Kisner. Among those cut.
Hayden Buckley, Kevin Stroman, J.J. Spawn, Luke Bliss, Matt Walsh, Miliano Grillo, Troy Merritt, Henderson of the Cock, Adam Pond, and Matt Fitzpatrick, Ryan Palmer, Thomas Dietrich, Sam Percy, or Scott Percy, um, Peter Mulnati, Patrick Rogers, Kevin Tway, Adam Shank, Chesar V, Matt Kuchar, Keegan Bradley, Davis Riley, Nate Taylor, Rory McIlroy, Harry English, Kirk Tateyama, Kangu Lee, Alex Loren, um, James Hahn, Joseph Bermlett, Robbie Shelton, Callum Tarrant, Corey Connors, um, Nicholas Echevarria, JT Potson, Nate Hardy, Seamus Power, Eric Barnes, Robert Stratton, Mackenzie Hughes, Justin Lauer, Grayson Sieg, Ryan Award, Dylan Fatelli, Webb Simpson, Brad Horchel, Jonathan Vegas, Russell Knox, Doc Redmond, Bayo Hostler, Robert Brem, Tyler or Tyson Alexander, Sungu Kim, Adam Long, Lucas Hodges, Stuart Sink, Doug Gim, Andrew Novak, Matthew Neesmith, Trey Molinax, Kelly Kraft, Davis Lipsky, Aaron Weiss, Ma- Martin Laird, Max McGravey, Nate Watney, Lucas Herbert, and withdrawing from the competition, John Rahm, who um, was sick, had to withdraw from the competition. All right, now we'll move on to NASCAR. We will go over the results from the race. Um... I should say the races. There's two races. Um, so the Xfinity um, on Saturday, your winner was Sammy Smith coming in second. Ryan Truex third. Sheldon Creed fourth. Riley Herbst fifth. Chandler Smith, who was my pick. Sixth, John Hunter. Nimi Chuck, seventh, Austin Hill. Eighth, Josh Berry. Ninth, Kyle Busch. Tenth, Dale Hemrick. The rest, Sam Meyer, Cole Custer, Brett Moffin, Anthony Alfredo, Parker Kligerman, Ryan Sieg, Kyle Weatherman, Parker Retzlaff, Ryan Ellis, Jeremy Clements, um, Josh Williams, Jeb Burton, Brandon Jones, Connor Mosack, Kyle C, Joey Gase, Leyland Honeyman, Bailey Curry, Brendan Poole, um, Patrick Emerling, Joe Graff Jr., Gareth Smithley, Jeffrey Earnhardt, Kaz Grella, Blaine Perkins, Justin Alger, um, Greg Golding, and Dawson Graham. And the X, or I'm sorry, the Cup Series. Uh, your winner on Sunday for the second week in a row, William Byron. Second, Ryan Blaney. Third, Tyler Reddick. Fourth, Kyle Larson. Fifth, Kevin Harvick. Sixth, Chris Bell. Seventh, Chase Briscoe. Eighth, Kyle Busch. Ninth, Alex Bowman. Tenth, Josh Berry. The rest, Joey Logano, Ryan Priest, Michael McDowell, Bubba Walls, Chris Boucher. Austin Dillon, Martin Truex Jr., Brad Kozlowski, Ricky Sanders Jr., AJ Madeir, Eric Jones, Daniel Suarez, Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain, Austin Sindra, Corey LaJoy, Justin Haley, Ty Gibbs, Noah Gragson, Ty Dillon, Zane Smith, Todd Gillen, Eric Almarola, Cody Ware, Harrison Burton, and BJ McClellan. All right, news and notes is very busy today. A lot of NFL free agency things we're going to have to get to. Um, so... Um, it begins today, um, at noon, um, but a couple things of Giants bring back Sterling Shepard and extend punter Jamie Gillen. Um, but the big football story over the weekend is that the Carolina Panthers acquire the number one overall pick in the NFL draft from the Chicago Bears for the ninth pick, um, DJ Moore, the 61st pick, 2024 first, and a 2025 second. That is a fantastic call for the Chicago Bears. They get a number one receiver out of it in DJ Moore. And the Panthers, they tell you, we're going for our quarterback, and we think there's a chance that the Texans want the guy we really want, so we want to jump the one and get the guy. Everyone is saying CJ Stroud, and the buzz is that the Panthers want him, and the odds makers seem to think that, but... I thought the Texans wanted Bryce Young. Um, and the Panthers could trade back as as they're considering trading down a spot or two if they end up liking multiple quarterbacks at the top of the draft. So that's really weird that um, that happened to happen. Um... Jimmy Garoppolo seeking twenty five plus million a year. Um, the Browns restructured Deshaun Watson's contract as it creates nearly thirty six million in cap space after redoing Watson's deal. Um, 
yesterday, the um, commanders signed Darren Payne, not of uh, four million, or I'm sorry, uh, four years, ninety million, the highest paid defensive tackle in the league, not named Darren Donald. Um, good on Washington for getting that done. Um, and the other big trade over the weekend is that the Dolphins acquired Jalen Ramsey from the Los Angeles Rams. For tight end Hunter Long and a 2023 third round pick. Um, I think that's a nice deal for the Dolphins. They get themselves better. Um, he's better than Byron Jones, who didn't play last year. So their secondary gets better with this deal. And Jalen Ramsey also gets an additional $25 million as they agreed to fully guarantee Ramsey's contract for the next two seasons. Um, Bears running back um, David Montgomery likely to test the market, despite the team expressing interest in bringing him back. There's rumors that Dalvin Cook could be on the trade block, because multiple teams believe Minnesota has had trade talks centered around him. And that tells me that maybe they want to make Alexander Madison their starter. Aaron Rodgers teases his next move, as he has some interesting words for Brandon Marshall regarding the Jets' decision. So it looks like he's going to go there, and it looks like the deal is nearly done. And the president, Mark Murphy, said, if Rodgers could return to Green Bay, if things don't work out the way we want them. So, hmm. They're literally saying, uh, we don't want him anymore. Um, Text inside Robert Woods. Um, two years, 15 and a quarter million, $10 or $10 million fully guaranteed. Um, the Bucks are targeting Baker Mayfield as its potential starter. Hmm, it's an upgrade over Kyle Trask, but hmm. Four teams eyeing Jamal Williams, Bengals, Bills, and Jets join the trade on the list of teams very interested in Jamal Williams. The Dolphins pick up Tua Tungo Aloha's option. It's it's worth twenty three point two million for the two thousand twenty four season. The Indianapolis Colts will not make a panic trade to move up for a quarterback. Um, so Adam Thielen was released from the Minnesota Vikings as he posted a heartfelt note to Instagram following the release. Steelers legend Dick Haley passes away at the age of 85 after a long fight with dementia and Parkinson's disease, says the son of Todd Haley. Or says the son of Dick, Todd Haley. Um, that um, and sad news from the weekend. Thoughts and prayers go out to the Haley family. Um, Devin McCourty retires as, um, he announced his retirement from the league. I think we'll see him in media. He had a great career. The Capitals extend Trevor Van Riemsdyk three years, nine million. Um, that doesn't surprise me. McNeese State hires Will Wade, five-year deal to coach the Cowboys. Um, there is a awful strike three call in a college game between Mississippi Valley State and New Orleans that ended the game. It was so awful. And then the viral college umpire got suspended indefinitely, which is the right call. Good job. Why can't Major League Baseball do that with their umpires for crying out loud? Firmino Kaland in Major League Soccer as St. Louis is among clubs Interested in signing him this summer as a free agent. Whoo, that would be something. And that team's off to a decent start this year. Um, two young players got extensions in baseball. Nationals catcher Kiebert Ruiz, eight years. Um, with two club options that could bring the total value up to $50 million. That's a steal for that guy, assuming he's good. Because that guy's going to be pretty good. The Dodgers could end up regretting that one down the road. And Corbin Carroll gets an eight-year, $111 million deal. Um, 32 games last year, 260 average. Um, this guy is highly touted among the top prospects in the game. And they want to do what the Braves did with all their young guys. And it's becoming a trend around baseball. Like, I would not be shocked if you saw the Yankees do this with Anthony Volpe down the road. Um. Report saying that Zion Williamson might be back for the postseason. Hasn't played since January 2nd. We'll see. There was a scuffle that led to um, um, 
Michael Porter Jr. getting ejected as well as Zach Collins of the Spurs. It was an interesting brawl. And then Brock Purdy had successful surgery as he's expected to begin throwing in three months to build up strength following UCL surgery. And the last news coming down moments ago, Ole Miss to hire Chris Beard as the former coach is expected to take the Rebel job after he's fired in January following the assault charge. So I'm not surprised that Chris Beard's back in college basketball. Um, He was a great coach with Texas Tech in Texas. But this situation led to Texas to fire him. And I think he'll turn around Ole Miss. I really do. He's a good basketball coach. And a school has a right to hire a coach unless there's some, like, suspension from the NCAA, which there wasn't. Texas fired him. There was no suspension given by the NCAA. So I I don't hate the hire for Ole Miss. I think it was a, a job well done for the Rebels. All right, last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, there's a couple that I like here for best bet, but one jumped out to me in the NBA. Um, it's a total, it's a very high total. Giannis may not play. I like under 244.5 in the Bucks kings game. I'm going to lay a quarter unit on it because I, um, cause Giannis might play and it might go over. So I like under 244.5 between the Bucks and the Kings for my best bet. That is way too high for a total. All right, that's it for the show today. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything. We have a lot of um, NFL free agency to get into. Um, I'm going to do my... Um, NCAA tournament podcast later tonight. And I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.